The monthly salary of John is the same each month. In November, John spent 1,600 of his salary and he saved the rest. But in December, he increased his spending by 30% and his savings decreased by 50%. Okay, so you might be wondering why is there a 30% increase and 50% savings? Well, since his salary is the same each month, if he were to increase his savings, uh, increase his spending, the money would have come from the savings that he put in every month. So what is John's monthly salary? Okay, to be able to solve this, I know in November he spent this amount. And my next step, I want to find out what is this 30% that he has increased in spending. So 1,600 is 100% of spending. So my first step is to find out this. I will take 1,600 divided by 100 times 30. And I will get $480. So I know in that particular month, he spent 480 more than the previous month. And where will that money come from? Since every month his salary is the same, the 480 would definitely be coming from his savings. Which means 50% of his savings is equals to $480 as well. Can you see that? So, what is John's monthly salary? I want to find out his 100% of savings. That means in November. Okay, so I base it on November. So, I will take 480 times 2. I get $960. So by right, he should be saving $960. But because he spent more, he managed to save only $480 that month. So what is John's monthly salary? I will take 960 plus 1,600. And I'll get my answer as 2,800. And 60 that is his salary so how did I get that this is savings and this is spending add them up his salary well you might have noticed something else I have decided to use November to solve my question but remember I can also use December what do I mean $480 is his spending, right? So I can, if I focus on December, I should take 480, the amount that he has spent additional, then I will add his usual spending, 1,600, and 50% of his savings, which is $480, I will also get $2,860. Okay?